everyone! In this video, we will be showing you the functionality of the ADP Vantage Time Clock. So this is an example of a clock. It will be attached to the wall in your facility, so you won't need to hang on to it. This is the home screen of the clock, and one of the first things that's most important to be able to do on the clock is record a punch or a time stamp. It's the same thing, it's just a different a word to describe the same activity. And what a punch does is signifies the start or stop of work at the beginning or end of shift or start or stop of work ahead of a break or a meal period. So to record a punch, we're gonna click record punch and then we're gonna enter our employee ID as listed on our pay stub. And then we click enter and we know that our punch went through because we got the green check mark and the green sign. It said accepted. And then we had the green light and the ping. Okay? If for some reason you get distracted and you don't hear the ping or you don't see the green, you can review your punch. And once again, you enter your employee ID. You click enter. And we're going to see the punches in and out for that particular day. To get back to the home screen, you can, so if you navigate away from the home screen and you want to get back, you're going to click the little home icon and button down at the bottom right corner of the time clock. So one of the other really important things to do for um, your time entry is view your time card. And for any pieces of the functionality on this clock, you're always going to have to enter your employee ID. So to view your time card, you can pick the previous pay period, the current pay period, next pay period, today, yesterday, it gives you a couple options. So I'm gonna click on the current pay period and it's gonna give me a little calendar of the pay period and show me all my totals for time worked in that particular pay period, okay? If I want to go back to the home screen, I'm going to click home. So it's important to be viewing your time card and making sure your time entry is correct and then notifying your manager if for some reason it's not correct and try to do this on a daily basis. Um, another piece of functionality and something that you'll need to do as an employee is approve your time card prior to submission to your manager because your manager will then approve it before it goes into payroll. If you are a part-time or on-call employee, we're gonna ask that you review your time sheet every day and approve it every day that you work. Because your schedule is somewhat unpredictable in nature, you don't necessarily know if one shift towards the end of the pay period might be your last shift. And again, we would like for all employees to sign off their pay on their uh, time sheet before it goes to their manager for that given pay period so we can make sure it's accurate. That was a pretty good example actually. If you take too long on any of the screens, you'll go back to the home screen. So I took a little bit too long with that explanation. I'm going to go back to approve my time card. And that's just one of the great security features of the ADP Vantage system. So I am clicking on current pay period and I'm reviewing my hours to make sure everything's accurate. So I'm comfortable with everything. It accurately reflects what I worked in my meal periods. So then I'm going to click approve. And if for some reason you realize after the fact that there was something incorrect and you've already approved your time card, as long as your manager hasn't submitted it to payroll, you can actually go back in and you'll see remove approval. So you can remove approval, okay? It's very important though, before the deadline of payroll being closed, that you review your time card and that you approve it prior submission to the manager before the manager can approve it and validate it and send it to payroll to ensure that you get paid accurately on time. So the final piece that we're gonna talk about related to the time clock is your accruals and PTO requests. You can submit a request for time off using this button over here and you can view your accruals 
again, always entering that employee ID. And I'm going to view my accruals as of this particular date. And I'm going to see I have float holiday, sick, vacation, and personal time. And I can see the hours that I currently have accrued and in my bucket to be able to use for um, those particular uh, different time off entitlements. Okay, so once again, going back to the home screen, I just click home and then you can see all the different tasks or things that you can do on the ADP Vantage Time Clock. So thank you for reviewing this video. We hope that this has been helpful to understand, um, most importantly, how to enter your time, how to approve your timesheet, and then also how to view your accruals prior to submission of a PTO request.